Hey everybody, welcome back to how to build a B1 bomber. 10 minutes at a time. Oh yeah, people, we're ready to get this freight train rolling again, alright? Y'all just might have to push me up top of that hill. <laughs> the loafing time's over, get back to work. That gummit. Okay, people, this is what... I got done. Okay, I got my hydraulic pump mounted and uh, my cylinders in there. I had some people asking me about these cylinders again from the surplus centers. This is a single acting. That means it has the spring inside, okay? Some of them have the springs that push it out, some of them have the springs to push it in. You just gotta look over. The double acting has air on both sides, single acting, air on one side. And all that is is a single acting. Um, Air cylinder, bam, about an inch and eighth diameter, and uh, got that thing for 20 bucks. And I got my valve set up, I got my pump in there, and I got my reservoir here, which I'm going to use to fill it. And I got my uh, big old jug of oil there with a uh, Festo mounting on the top. That's what I'm going to use to fill my lines. Okay, and I've been thinking about this all morning. I've been studying and studying and trying to figure out what I was going to do to uh, get this all in there air bubble free. Or at least this, at least, the, well, there goes them big old feet. Again, rod. <laughs> okay, but anyway, uh, what I got to do is get oil in this whole system air lines and then the air cylinders and I think the best way to do that is one at a time okay so what I did is I took off all my uh, air lines I put these this is just a one-way check valve okay so everything's blocked off right and I should be able to put hook this up to my reservoir with my Coleman jug on my pump, or not my Coleman jug, my Wesson, my full Wesson, turn, turn on the system. Okay, and I'm going to do my accumulator last. So it won't actually pressurize the system when I take these valves off. Oil won't squirt everywhere. I'm trying to do this without making a mess. And if I hook up the accumulator first, uh, it'll have pressure. I don't want to do that when, when the pump cuts off. I just wanted to hold the, uh, you know, pull that, be able to pull this check valve off with that oil doing everywhere. But I'm going to do them one at a time. I'm going to do the air, the cylinders one at a time too. And I think the best way to do that is just to go ahead, I'm going to have to work them air cylinders. Go ahead and just take these gear off again. Uh, it ain't that big a deal. I'll just leave the main set up. Just leave the main setup, take off these big old honking things. Only got to pull a couple pins here. Dad gave me a whole bag of these cotter pins. We chose to hold this together with cotter pins rather than e clips. You know, Dad just had a heck of a time with them e clips, and then they'd come off, and we don't want no parts falling off this thing. See, they're just them little cotter key things. Can y'all see that? We got new ones, so I don't even need to save them really. Take that one out. Let's see, take this one out. Anyway, I think my 
system will work. I've been thinking about it for all morning. How am I going to do that and not get all everywhere and and uh, air bubbles? It's not that a couple air bubbles would be tragic, but uh, I just don't know. If I can put them together without any It'll just work that much better. There you go. But I'm going to get this thing hooked up and working today. And, uh, man, I was trying to fly that baby B1 again yesterday and the motor kind of took a dump on me. You know, dang foamies. <laughs> well, they're going to, they had another one ordered. They're going to swap me out at the hobby store. See that thing only. Fired it up and ran for a couple minutes, and it didn't even crash. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to pull them down. Now I can pull the pins out. that Survivor episode. <laughs> Russell didn't win it and he was mad. Didn't get one vote. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Russell, if you're watching, that's what you get, brother. We reap what we sow. You play the game to get to the final three, but you don't play to win. Bam. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Now, I can work this cylinder. I might still need to unhook it. So I can work that cylinder, you know, and get it full of oil. What I'm thinking about doing is I can take my uh, Wesson jug and tee it and have two lines going to that air cylinder and just work it both ways and get all the air out. You know, put me a bunch of paper towels in here so it'll make a huge mess. But we'll be back. I'll make some more videos today, people. We're going to get this hydraulic system figured out, working, let y'all help me bleed it, and uh, get this freight train rolling again. Oh, yeah, we got some more Bob TV coming for you. Saying Bob time. Same Bob Station. This episode of Bob TV was broadcasted in Philovision. This is a drama-free zone. <laughs>